Greetings everyone. Thank you for the amount of likes on the last video. So I decided to release this video today and I pushed myself to finish it up and put some conclusions and everything, the cost and which stage is my Donatello reached at and how did I do the test. Uh, before I start talking about my tests and everything I'm gonna give a small and short answers for those who doesn't want to watch the whole video so in short is Donatello better than Ada <laughs> so far guys no I don't see him better maybe there would be a rare situations in which this guy would be better okay but I'm gonna tell you about his pros and cons and, and why and as always welcome to Harvard of status survival if you like this type of content please don't forget to like and subscribe okay so before i go on with the reports i'm gonna explain what's wrong or basically who's don donatello's uh, geek of use between him and donald's by the way uh, but let me explain why this hero looks so good in paper but it doesn't look as good when it comes to real testing okay so donatello is our newest hero it's blue enforcer blue enforcers again means whatever the color you put inside this hero is gonna turn blue if you have any related tempest to blue it's gonna work in blue we don't have it. if you if you had red tempest yellow tempest is not gonna work only the blue tempest so that's one two his skill his skill completely depends on the enemy being burning so if the enemy is not burning it's garbage it's completely garbage the skill is completely garbage and it hit only the front row the infantry so yeah if you have anything that removes burn or you have rv rising bulwark this skill is completely uh pointless which means it's gonna negate the whole resonated purpose of this hero another positive thing about the hero sorry that last one wasn't really positive it was situational so rising valor is gonna be a problem versus this hero and uh, the resilience skill that removes uh, the burning effect is is gonna make this guy useless now resonated levels why did i take this guy all the way to seven again because it was one of the requirements in here and that the ninja turtles on the path of the ninja it forces you to go all the way so you can get shuriken so you can summon this daddy rat okay that's the reason how much did it cost me up till i reach this stage yeah you are forced if you want to unlock uh, the splinter guy to roll a thousand rolls and even if you roll a thousand rolls that's a thousand dollars for you and and not only that I couldn't even max the hero. My hero is still not maxed, even though it was a thousand dollars. So here, where is the guy? Yeah, I didn't max the guy, and I'm gonna come back to this again, discussing the three nodes of his skills. But I'm just trying to tell you the cost. So obviously, if you are spending this much on the hero, it has to be good, right? Okay, wrong. It's not actually that good. And uh, let me explain to you. Now, if I'm going to compare this guy you know, to Ada, Ada, uh, Ada is more flexible. So here is your answer. In most situations, Ada is going to beat uh, Donatello. This is your answer. If you are satisfied with it, that's the video for you. If not, please stay for the rest of the explanations. So now. Uh, you were wondering why I didn't go for the skills and why did I go for the resonated again because you need to resonate it uh, for this guy resonated to be reached level 7 to be able to unlock the splinter guy not only that the resonated on this guy is actually good because it adds final hero damage final hero hunter damage and that is really 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 good and it adds amplification to hunters attack too regardless if the description is wrong or right but it actually I felt 
every single time I have upgraded this and I have recorded everything by the video uh, every single time I increased uh, the resonated buff it used to actually make a difference on every single time I'm attacking that's one two let us discuss the skills and why you see me not upgrading anything so yeah I have a video of each one of these I'm gonna show you the video in which I have upgraded this one and that one and the skill so if you are going to be burn if you're going to use anything that is related to burn which means the following you're going to use a tempest that has fire on it then this skill would work and this this skill would work too as they are related to each other they are going to do more damage if the enemy is burning otherwise it's again pointless so unless you have a burn this skill is pointless now one more thing this skill gripping precision damage is increased if the enemy is disarmed or silenced like there's literally literally only three heroes in the game at this stage that actually disarm or silence literally so this whole hero all hero works only if you if, if you are disarming uh, the enemy and you know what this hero skills they hit infantry they don't hit anything else so if the infantry is disarmed you deal more damage if the infantry is silenced you will be dealing more damage so who's in the game that does this disarm or silence we have literally two heroes only one hero that is not going to be used by the new look the old stage look the old stage has uh, uh, already immunity to disarm by the way so anyone who has this guy is going to be immune but again let us discuss interesting case you had disarm which heroes that actually do disarm Prish and Wolfie and where is an Oli you know Oli where is Oli Oli and finally Lane so where it is where is lane where is lane yeah lane where's where's the disarm yeah here she has disarm so again look how complicated this is three of the heroes you're most likely not going to be using ollie you're not going to be using ollie and you're not going to be using wolfie and you're not going to be using crush nobody's going to use this these are the worst current heroes for anyone in the current generation at least the first 700 states so otherwise it's completely fucking bar garbage like seriously garbage the only hero that is actively good and because of the burn build is uh, this lady lane which she silence or disarms the first two two rows including the infantry obviously so unless unless the target doesn't have carlos and the skill hits exactly at the same time that it has been disarmed or silenced the skill would work which means most of, most of the time uh, the that hunter skill of Donat Donatello is not gonna even work okay guys so this is my other recording in which I have tested whether this disarm skill is even useful or not and here I have prepared a marsh on both of us me and my friend we never had anything that actually protect us from the silence or from the disarm so i send the marsh just to record the survival rates before and after upgrading that skill and here is the result for you i have sent my marsh in here my marsh is, has marcos obviously both of us did remove carlos so and we had lane lane is the only one who's actually silencing or disarming so he's going to attack me once and once he attacked me i'm going to show you here as you can see here let's go back here 1934 okay and that was now let's go back to the skills sorry forward to the skills here I don't have yet uh, the disarm skill and now I will be upgrading the disarm skill and then I will be sending again the same march to see what will happen as you can see here send the marsh 
now I'm waiting for him to attack me after I have upgraded the skill. If you remember, it was 1934. So, here is the result. Literally, literally like 20 more. That's if we even consider it working. So yeah, let's say it's working. But this is how freaking little it is when you upgrade that skill compared to both of the other skills, the fire one, uh, the, uh, the basic damage one. We are again, let's go back. So basically, this skill is completely pointless. If you don't believe me, once you upgrade this hero, once you upgrade this hero, try to add, a, to add an upgrade to this skill and look at, make it level one, and see yourself and feel free to waste your uh, fragments. But hey, look at this. This was a southern dollar uh, wheel uh, rolls. And here we have this only. I have at level 7 resonated and I couldn't max him. Now what about this one? This is a slight increase of damage for the skill itself. It's not really 20%. It's way much better. But it is just a small increase. It's not really massive. It's literally a small increase. Now this is the most important skill. Obviously because the enemy... Uh, has to be burning and it increases the damage further if the enemy is burning. But basically if the infantry is not burning, it's over. It's not going to be uh, effective at all. It's going to be as if you're not even using a uh, resonated hero. That's how weak it is. But in general, in general, if we remove all of these elements, all of these factors, the guy is actually decent. Not really very bad, but he's okay-ish. Because you know what? He's so far, he's the only one that has been given uh, on the Ninja Adventures, yes, for free. I mean, you are getting 272 fragments, which is enough for you to unlock his limitless skill and get uh, what you call until resonated level 4, unless, unless they change that somehow on the upcoming weeks. Otherwise, he is free, guys. I mean, you are gonna get it eventually. I'm not sure if it's gonna be any to win walls. But he's gonna be okay. As a free to play hero, he's gonna be okay. But that's it. But he's not something that is worth so much investment. Now, this is the simple part. The complicated part is I have tested this hero versus a rally leader who is stronger than me and a rally leader who is weaker than me. So I can have a fair judgment and I even increase the amount of the troop to see <laughs> and in both both cases it end up doing performing worse than what is expected like this is for example the first test I did with a rally leader who I'm supposed to be uh, stronger than but I'm not sure why did I lose it but anyway uh, here as you can see Ada is not resonated with a synchronized hero like this hero is good only the donald hero should be good only if there is some sort of fire burning damage to the enemy as i said or uh he if, if he is with donald like uh, resonated with donald so this was the base test uh 2600 okay and then i replaced the first test with uh, not limitless and four stars uh, Dona Donatello and performed very bad but then I made him limitless and the performance kept on increasing and then I kept on increasing the resonated level and every single time it goes up as you can see it kept on going up kept on going up until it reached this stage at uh, at which I have shown you, I just showed you that at this stage he is like. Uh, let me see, even if the heroes. Yeah. It reached this stage. That was the maximum stage this could reach. Okay, and this is without the burning. With burning, of course, it's gonna be a little bit more better. But again, Ada looks like it performs way better. Yeah, it does. It does end up performing way better. Now, here is an, an another interesting test which I have made 
let me see if I have it here. Yeah, you see here, here, this is a problem for me. This is my current Donalds and he's seven stars versus seven stars Max Ada. The performance is as following. So this guy end up having eight thousand survival. Okay. There is a fire by the way, it's equipped by fire by fire tempest. So and even it has Donald inside it, I believe. Yes, it's had it has Donald. So the fire source is there, so the skill is supposed to be working way much better. So but what did end up happening is the opposite. Here. When I switched back into Ada, my Ada four stars but max skill ended up doing way much better okay so you might be wondering why why this the heck is is this actually happened even though Donald's Donatello sorry really looks very decent on paper really looks so maybe in a different situation he would perform better but here is your answer when I use this guy when I use this Donatello's guy my hunters and writers ended up dying but when i switched into ada ada actually managed because of somehow some reason she managed to uh, uh, kill enemies hunter and kill enemies rider doesn't make any sense but it literally has happened like i had no hunters i had no riders at the round 16 but infantry the infantry for some freaking reason uh, while while having this ada on the uh, on the team managed to kill hunters at 28 round and writers i did too which is weird behavior it's seriously very weird behavior i have no idea why but yeah this is what actually happened maybe in a different scenario uh, this uh, Donatello guy is gonna actually perform better but so far it is so fucking weird I mean look infantry had, had kills but still hunters had killed but again it, it is so fucking weird but he's not performing as he's supposed to be not sure why but this this is the only thing that is completely different here when I put the Ada enemy hunters and writers die but uh, when I put uh, back Donald's, Donatello's, writers and hunters of the enemy doesn't die. I die. I die first and faster. So that's that's basically the reason. I have no fucking idea why this behavior acquire. I don't have anything. I mean, nothing is there. So I'm not sure why this is happening, but this is mainly the reason. Maybe it's bug. Maybe it's going to be fixed. But for now, it doesn't look like Donald is really worth this amount of money you need not to worry and you can stay with Ada for some time obviously you are going to get it for free so you don't have to worry what I'm trying to explain to you here is you don't have to rush it where's the yeah so are you supposed to rush this guy no you're not supposed to rush this guy and there will be most likely another hunter coming up later but when I thought about it I thought like look guys there are 272 fragments in here Donatello and this is weird usually we don't get given a hero that is enough for you to have it, to unlock the limitless and maybe resonate it for at the same time uh, I saw the path of the ninja and said oh no regardless whether you like it or not if you are a spender main rally leader which is the target of, of the game anyway of what the game is focusing on then you are forced to upgrade him to 7 whether you fucking like it or not. So yeah, regardless, even if it's shitty, you're forced to make him 7 stars. But the question is, is it worth it for you to pay a thousand dollars right now, unless you want to wait the 3 months to get Donald's, sorry, Donatello, uh, to replace him to Ada? Fuck no, it's not. So, if you had Ada, you are in a very safe position. Uh, don't worry about it. The only concern is for those who are wants to get Splinter because maybe Splinter would be good. Maybe it's garbage. I have no fucking idea yet. I already did some tests, but it's not obviously enough because uh, you won't have enough uh, 
to test him fully anyway uh, so I hope this concludes my test the guy is not really worth it you should not worry about him if you are a big spinner who wants to unlock the other uh, this rat obviously you are forced to unless you want to wait until May which obviously none of us is gonna do you guys uh, that's it and have a wonderful day if you want to see the splinter uh, test and unlock please don't forget to give me some likes and comments regarding that